Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's fine. Am I doing it? Am I recording? Oh, cook out five, five, five seconds. Didn't even realise, guys. <laughs> um, hello, my good friends of YouTube. Well, today I've got um, a nice half bridge IGBT running just here. One of the ones that we got um, from from the scrapyard. Um, we we're using the whole thing, the whole um, half bridge. It's all wired up with uh, some really nice opto couplers and um, uh, what's that chip again, mate? Inverter. An inverter chip. X. X, hex inverter chip. So six of them. Yeah, six in one. We're only using one of them. Yeah, only using one of them. But um, we've got some really nice power supplies which we've connected up for the uh, the gates of the IGBT, for both sides of the IGBT. They're pretty cold. They're pretty cold. They're, pretty cold. Yeah. They're still on as well, you know, be careful. Slightly warm. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you guys. That, that one's cold as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's stone cold, the uh, rectifier is. So, I'll give you a quick demonstration, guys, and uh, see what you think. It's one of the X ray transformer, the uh, inverter style, um, high frequency, um, 150kV in um, X ray transformer. So, uh, I'll show you guys, putting about 110 volts into it. <clears throat> All we need is, yeah, just to turn the on. Let me turn this. One second, let me just give it the effect. One sec. Oh, watch out. That's a slap. Yeah. I pulled, did you port it then? No, 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 it's fine. Oh, no, did you port it? No, no, it's all on, yeah. It's alright. Nah, I'm not bothered. All true time. <laughs> so, do you want to. I'll do the honors, yes. Yeah. There's a the voltage there, it's 66 volts, so it's going to be putting in about 30 into it. Yeah, it's an off bridge. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's turn it up a bit more where it was. So there you go, guys, there's the, the voltage. It's about 130 volts there, guys, so we're putting in half of that. Yeah, turn the frequency down a bit. Yeah, that's it. Nice blue, nice purple, purple arc. Yeah, I'll watch this. I'm just going to turn it off for a sec. <clears throat> just show the guys the set, the set up. And then we'll show them again. <clears throat> so, as you can see, guys, bloody hell, that's LED's bright. Yeah. Um, here it comes in and through the rectifier from the large IG, IG um, from the large variac. So if we're ballasting it um, a little bit. We're not. Be careful, dude. <laughs> through the uh, rectifier into the capacitors and into the IGBTs. Them two power supplies there are for the gates, the optocouplers for the gates, and their frequency driver. Um, the frequent, the oh, what's that called again? Pulse I forgot. Width pulse width, I couldn't Running remember 10 them. Yeah, 10 kilohertz pulse width module just there, which is powering the uh, the gates of the IGBTs. One of, the, one of these has um, got hex inverted, inverted, so we got the so one's on off, one's off. Yeah. As it should be, otherwise, we have a bit of an issue. This is the power supplies for each side of the IGBT on to run the gates. Look at that, eh? Aren't they gorgeous? They're about £300 each, guys, and we found them at the scrapyard. Got them for free. Yeah, we did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he I said got, he yeah, got about five, six more of them. Yeah, we? yeah, he Gonna said to. Uh, guy said to me I can just take them because we'd spent quite a bit with the uh, the other stuff that we bought, the IGBTs. He goes, oh, just take them. <laughs> show me a board with them on and let's show the guys. Pardon? Show me a board with one of the, with them on. I think they're under, under there, aren't they? <clears throat> so this is one of the boards, guys. Is that cleaner one? I'll take that one there. Flipping gunk on the end. So this is the underneath of them. And that's the top of them. 
could have actually used these themselves, but we didn't have the uh, the connectors for them. We wasn't quite sure how to to wire these up because there was some parts missing. A lot of the surface mount components were missing on them as well because they've been thrown around. Yeah, these are the gate drives just here. What we basically built, but these are a bit more advanced, aren't they? These these things with a they can put a bit more force for it. Um, yeah. I mean, these ones are only good for about 2.5 amps. You could probably put about 8 amps through this, probably, yeah. I'm guessing. You could pro you'd be able to switch that on and off properly. <clears throat> it would be a bit slow on it. No. But it seems to be working pretty yeah, well. I mean, it's, nothing's getting... It's not that hot, no. No. I mean, if you're saying this, it's on a small little piece of aluminium... Which is getting a bit hot, too. Yeah. I mean, it's only a small heat sink on the back of that. I haven't got a fan. No fan on it, no. I mean, yeah. the, the one that I was running it at with the... Just the, using half um, half the brick, yeah. and I wasn't doing it the way we, we've done it. It was it was getting a lot more. Was, I was getting a lot more heat from it yeah. compared to how we've wired this one up now. Um, but we've me and um, Tom have been uh, wiring this up since about five o'clock, yeah. <laughs> and it's now uh, about half past twelve at night. <laughs> God, so, I'm this felt like oh god, yeah, it's like been. An hour or so. Have you enjoyed yourself today, I mate? Bloody well, have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty cool. That it's been pretty cool. We've uh, really done quite a bit today. Um, Tom's going home tomorrow at two o'clock, and uh, I don't think he wants to go home. Nice. He wants to stay for a bit. Hey, before we before we shut off, well, I want to put up. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, let me just quickly show him this um, Pelty unit oh, that yeah. you've given me. Shit. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. There we go. This is how many watts? 50. 60, 60 watts, guys. This power T unit is 60 watts. Double stack so you can get quite a nice um, difference in temperature on it. Yeah, just a bit. It's flipping evil. Let me just focus in on it. Come on, you stupid phone. There we go. Look at that, guys. That is one big power T unit. And. There was that much frost on that we could have made a snowball. <laughs> I'm telling you now, it's awesome. <clears throat> That's one lovely Pelty unit. So then, guys, I'll uh, show you the. 400 watt? Uh, no, because it will make the RGBT get too hot too quick, yeah. and I want to get a bigger heat sink on that, like them big boys I've got. No, it's. Yeah. Yeah, let me uh, widen those out a bit if you're going to put more power in it. Do you want me to put a bigger heat sink under that? Slide that big one I've got. Nah, it's not worth it. We'd have to pull out all that stuff under. Yeah, it's um, alright. No, it's, it'll, be, it'll be fine for short run, mate. There you go, guys. Got it on the bigger heat sink. You want those? I want that. Oh yeah, it is gorgeous. We want that to uh, output a bit more bigger. We do some bigger arcs, mate, because that's puny. There we go. That's better. Hold on. Turn it down a bit, the frequency. Oh, shit. What's that? It's the, um, I bet the battery's gone on that. Uh... No, it's not drawing much current. Just... Right then, guys, yeah, we a uh, bit of a complication. The uh, hex inverter thing, that uh, chip that we was using down there, um, the insulation on it was pretty crap. It was actually a pretty crap one we've got. But uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're I think gonna... it's just getting overheated. It's not enough current or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so... I mean... I kind of bodged this, so I have a feeling if we, it's um, I don't, I <coughs> that's going to be a bit of an issue, we'd have to redo this, because really, ideally, you'd use a um, Teal 494 chip, or a chip which gives out a high signal and a low signal on two different pins, so an inverting output as well, and then you put the inverting output onto one side of a half bridge, and we have uh, the non-inverting to the other, to the um, other side. This is only a quick one we've chucked together though. Yeah, this, we, 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 yeah but um, we are going to build a, a better, <coughs> a better uh, job. 
But uh, we see, it seems to be working pretty well yeah, though. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Uh, it's just been chucked it together, dude. That, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it's jumping a nice, wow. nice six-inch gap. So and the RGBT wasn't really getting very warm. Yeah, dude, were you trying to do kill yourself? No, that. I just noticed that's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's what is it with you nearly killing yourself? Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> Check that um, huh? rectifier and see if that's hot underneath. No, it's stone cold. Stone cold. I think that one's about 100 amps, I think. 160, I think. Yeah, is it? I can't remember. Pardon me, 150. Yeah, 150 amps. That's not, yeah, it'll last forever, that will. Yeah. <clears throat> so then, guys. <sighs> nice green LED. I'm the Hulk. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the bit of a video there. Hopefully we'll build a better one and, and hopefully we won't have no issues. <laughs> so thanks for watching, look after yourselves and be safe. See ya. Have a good one. <laughs> See you later guys. <laughs>